Hi guys, it's Lisa. Hey, it's time for another video. I thought today um, would be really fun if we did some um, spray tea dyeing on some paper. I thought it would be really fun. I could show you the process of how we do it and everything. And I will be doing that. So, <clears throat> so first off, I'm going to show you a little bit of the paper that, what it looks like when it's done tea dyeing. And this is what I got here. And it's just, a, this is just a sampling of different paper that I've tea dyed and coffee dyed. And today, actually, instead of tea dyeing, we're actually going to be coffee dyeing. Okay. And this came out so pretty. I just, you know, just came out really nice. I like it. <clears throat> and this, I like this especially because it has this really beautiful, crunchy little old looking edge on it. I thought that came out really nice. So guys, I will show you what you need to get started on doing this. So it's simple and easy to do. First thing you're going to need is a lid. Do you see this? I got this lid with a pan that went with it from the Dollar Tree. So you can get these just simple. I buy them cheap. And you will need some coffee, which I got this instant coffee at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, of course. You're going to need a measuring cup, and I have a measuring cup here. And I've put about uh, a cup and a half of hot water. You're going to need that. We're going to need a spray bottle like this that I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So... What we're going to do is first off, I'm going to fill my spray bottle because it's getting low and I need to put some more coffee in it. So first off, I'm going to take my measuring cup and I'm going to use my spoon. Oh, you need a measuring spoon too. And I'm going to just put some of my coffee in to my hot water. Oh yeah, and this doesn't fit in the inside of here. Okay. I'm just going to pour it. In. I'm just going to eyeball, pour about two tablespoons of instant coffee in here. Stir it up a little bit. Okay. And pour it in your bottle. This is a really nice measuring cup because it's, I don't know, I don't think you can see the angle that I'm at, but it has a, a spout on each end, so it's really easy to pour into the bottle. Otherwise, you probably would need a siphon or a funnel. I mean, a funnel. Fill this up. Set that aside. <clears throat> Put the lid on it. And you are ready to go to set it aside and now real quick I wanted to show you the papers that I picked out that I'm going to be coffee dyeing today here are some papers here's some ledger paper different ledger papers that I picked out <clears throat> here is just some really cool paper with this really neat um, openings on it that I took the wire out of it so it, they wouldn't show the tear marks on the top we got some beautiful um, ledger paper I'm going to dye. Your regular notebook paper. And this one I didn't take the wire out because it was easier just to rip it. So I got like four pieces of that. And then I got, oh, and then I got this paper too. And then I got three sheets of this. So what you do for your paper, guys, is don't go and buy anything brand new. Just go and get stuff you find at Goodwill thrift stores, just wherever, garage sales. So I got this ledger paper for $1.50, and it was a like half off. And, it, and it's where I just pulled out some papers, some ledger papers to dye. Um, this is the book I got the ledger paper out of, my other ledger paper. And here is another book, which you can see, 59 cents I paid for. A book of this, either at a garage sale or a thrift store, I don't remember where. And these I got too, like this, just the real thin squared graph paper. 
I like that too. So, and then I got some of these papers, which what I did for that was I, I had this book I got at Dollar Tree for a dollar, and it it has pages in here of interest, and there's writing on one side and printed on both sides. So if I didn't like necessarily the print on the other side, then what I did is I took these and I ran it through my copier and I got these. So I got two of these. So these are really fun to use too if you're doing paper and that's another idea of what you could do. So, so I'm gonna get out my handy dandy little um, <clears throat> tray, my tray lid actually, and I'm gonna take my my spray, my coffee, and, and I'm just gonna spray the bottom of this first. Kind of just spray it. Then I'm gonna start with probably my <clears throat> biggest papers first, and then the smaller ones. So now this this paper here is blue, and it's really interesting because. Um, when you spray it, it's kind of, it turns out to be kind of a blue color. It's really interesting. I'm just going to spray all around it. I'll show you that blue paper real quick. So this is what paper turns out like when you tea dye this paper. It looks kind of like, <clears throat> you know, the blue, kind of the blue squares like that. So we're going to go ahead and put that in the bottom. And I'm going to one on top, spray it. And this one. I'm just gonna just do this whole stack here. And then I'll show you what we end up doing with these after these are now you really want to make sure that you're getting it saturated pretty well. And on especially on the edges and stuff. And this tray is a little bit smaller for some of these papers, but it isn't going to matter because it's just going to look good anyway, no matter what. And I don't know why I do each one. I don't do them all, <laughs> each one at a time, the same type. I don't know why I do that. I just do that. There's this one to make sure I didn't get two of them here. Yep, like I thought. <laughs> These are gonna just go in here. <clears throat> well, I was contemplating today about the video, and I knew that you know it's been a week. I really gotta get a video going here, and I'm kind of behind, you know, because of the holidays and everything. And I thought, well, you know, I did dye some paper. I could show that, and so that's why I decided to to do this today. Now there are different ways of um, copy dyeing paper. This just seems to be a, a really fast and easy way. You know, you could get a bowl of water, of hot water, and, and put your tea in there and just submerge each page in there, which I've done that before. You can easily do that. Um, and I've actually, and I've baked paper before, which is really, it gives it a really fun texture, a really crispy texture. I like doing that too. But just in, in what in just practicing and different things that I've done, I just kind of seem to come back to doing this. It just for me this just really works really well. So you can want to press it down. Just get it right on top there and just press it. And I know some people have said, um, are you sure that the paper will come out easy? And it will come, it won't stick together. No, actually, guys, it does not do that at all. It does not stick together, no matter what. So, how was everybody's Christmas? I hope you guys had a great Christmas. We had a very different Christmas this year. Um, my daughter wasn't able to come on Christmas Day for Christmas. So she said, would you guys mind if she came 
the 26th. And I said, no, that will probably be fine, you know. So then when I talked to my older son and told him it was going to be the 26th, he said, what? I have to work on the 26th. I said, oh, my goodness. And so he said, well, how about I'll just come over in the morning and we'll open presents. And then, um, and then he said, well, maybe I'll come by the 26th, too. Well, he never did come by the 26th because he had to work. And he didn't feel like coming over after he got off work. So then on the 26th, my daughter comes up, which we had planned, and, and she's asking where her brother is. And I said, well, he had to work. Well, I wouldn't wish I would have known that. Well, she was she was supposed to call him and let him know that we were, we were going to do it on the 26th. So she never did, so I ended up doing it. And it ended up being... So, so anyway, we had... On Christmas Eve, we had my husband's son over and then Christmas Day we had my son over in the morning and then I picked up my little son because he he lives with his dad um, and I get him on Christmas Day got him on Christmas picked him up on Christmas Day and came back and my older son said hey why don't I just come back by when you get him and then we can we can open up presents together so we did that Christmas Day and then, um, uh, uh, my 15 and a half year old decided that he told two people what he wanted for Christmas, so we got him the same thing that his brother got him. <laughs> so guess what? <laughs> we have to take one of them back. <laughs> and we decided we'd take ours back, and the look on his face was like, oh my goodness, I got him the same present. So I'm just going to roll it around like this a little bit. And it's really saturated, so I'm going to carefully pick up just on the end of the whole bundle here. Like this is what I usually do. And I just kind of turn it over and let it just sit and saturate. And I do this for about a day or so. I just let it sit just like this. I don't do nothing with it. And I will show you, I'm going to show you a tray of, of some that I did earlier today. This is the tray that I did earlier today, and as you can see, it's still wet. Yeah, all these papers are still really wet, but look at how neat that's going to look. You know, and this is just to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. And I just kind of, in the process of those of the day when it's sitting, I kind of flip it around and put it in different ways and stuff to get it to, you know, pick up different. Um, just to dry in different. Uh, let me get her dried Not that way. And I just oh, here's a crunched up. Here's the one that just got kind of crunched up here. So and then after I take them out and let these after the couple days, then I look at it. And this is the one that I did. I actually did this paper um, two days ago. And I took it out of here. Actually, today I took it out of here today. And I really I unfolded all of these pages because they were all dry. But if you want to have them to have them dry quicker than than what you like, is that you could also get like one of these drying racks that you use. And I've actually put, put paper on here before and got out my heat tool and just dry it. You know, you could dry each one of them if you wanted to, if you needed them right away. And then, when these are all dry, then what I do is I take them out, I take them all out, and then I just fold them all in half. And I just get a pile of these all folded in half. And then I'll show you what I do. These are my bigger ones, but I kind of put them all in piles that look alike. This one, as I put in a pile like this. I'll probably put these in a pile, in, just in a separate pile. Then what I do is I organize my paper. I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. I organize, if you can see that, I organize my paper in these boxes where I put um, 
this is my paper here that I'm going to use for my signatures so that when I'm getting ready you know to go through and pick up pages that I want to do for my signatures I can easily just go through here and just pick out things that I want to use for it and this box is actually for my smaller pages and the ones that are mostly for writing and my tea dyed and then I have another box over here oh boy this one's heavy <laughs> it's for my bigger paper and it's pretty much the same but it's all organized and so on this box what I do is I take some sheets out of it let me see if I have an example here <clears throat> where did I put them so what I would do with this one is I would take two sheets out let's say like a music one and maybe oh, just a book page or something these two whatever and I put them together like this and then I would just sew around the edges to make it a page. And I'm trying to find one because I just did one the other day and I'm trying to find where I put it. Let me see. Put this up. Because I just made them. And then another cool thing that I that I did was once I get my pages the way that I want them, then I can just take them out. So this one, this one. Just put like three pages together, let's say. This one. Oh no, that's another one. This one maybe. And put them put them all together. The way that I kind of want them as a signature, see? And just, you know, I'm just throwing this together right here. I'm not putting a lot of thought into this, but. So you would put those in like that. And what I did do, if you can see, is I, I put a bunch of these together. A bunch of these. Uh, signatures that have different papers in them that I already pre-did so that I could have all of these ready so that all I could do is to say okay well let me do a do a journal and I'm just gonna add I'm just gonna add my three you know books you know for example I put I think a bundle either three or four pages together in a bundle and then um, so then when I'm ready to do these I have these all ready to go it's really kind of handy and saves a lot of time and energy of trying to get everything going again. I mean, thinking up with the things that you want to do. So I made these up. So I'll put these set these aside and probably do something with those with that. And then oh, here they are. So this is what I wanted to show you was that um, when I take the two pages with writing on them, let's say. I take the two together, this one and this page, and I just sew around the edges of it. And that makes it stiffer so that it's 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 more like you could use it as, you know, as cardstock because it's really um, stiffer, you know, if you wanted to put on your pockets and your tags and stuff, that this would be better. And it's double paper, so it's kind of I don't know, I just like it. I think it looks really neat. And you know, I did I did a few of these and I even did one with this brown paper sack. You use a brown paper sack or brown paper. This happened to be at work around our paper towels. <laughs> it was the holder of the paper towels. And I cut it to size and just used it. And I thought, oh, I can just use it in my journals. You know, it's called junk journaling for a reason, you know. So, so anyway, guys, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today of what you're gonna, of what I wanted to do. But also another thing, if you, if these are almost dry, you could also take them and then iron them. You could always iron them really and get them flat and it would help it to dry and also it would keep them really flat. So it would be it would be a pretty good idea to do. So Okay guys, well that's it for my video today. I just wanted to do a quick little little video of tea dyeing because I think it's really fun. Um, oh another thing you could do also I wanted to say real quick is that you could even tea dye ribbon, anything like this, lace. You could tea dye lace. And I would just put that, sit, sit that into a container for a little while and then take it out and let it dry. Let it air dry is what I would probably do. But, but it's been fun. It's, uh, I'm working on making, coming up with another book, another um, way of uh, doing a book. I could show you this real quick too since I'm here. Um, this is a technique that I want to start doing or I'd like to do is how I 
I don't know if you can see it, but how I I bounded this is a real different. I put strings on there. I did it in a really creative little way. And, and so anyway, this is a book that um that I've been working on. That's a that's a kind of like a gardening book, I'd say. Um, just kind of decorating it and, and you know getting it ready so that it will be for sale. But um, I'm gonna spend some time probably next time or a time after to try to just show you how to how I did this book and how I put it together and everything. So and I mean there's a lot of things you know I mean there's a lot of things that I didn't do that I need to do on this that I can fine tune my next book to get it to where I can show you guys how I did it and how it what's the easiest way to do it okay and so anyway guys well that's it for today um, thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you guys' thumbs up and all your subscribers and all your comments it's just been really a blessing it's been really fantastic so anyway guys thank you guys for watching and I will either be with you tomorrow or the next day and we will we'll start doing a book together okay okay take care check out my etsy store i got all my books for sale in there I think there's nine nine books for sale in there so check out that i'll put that in the description box below my um my etsy store and okay so anyway i will talk to you guys later bye